I have a really fun DIY video for you guys today that may or may not involve any sewing at all. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about heat transfer paper so that you can make your own DIY t-shirt iron-on decal similar to mine here featuring who else? Sweet little honey. I'm going to be showing you how I designed this decal um, and how easy it is to apply to any what they call in the industry blank. And a blank is simply a plain item, whether that be a shirt, a tote bag, a hat, shoes, anything that you can iron on to is considered a blank. And I am using the Hippo Transfer Paper for Dark Fabric. Obviously, you can tell I used it on a light fabric and it was just fine, but it will tell you on here that your um, t-shirt is needs to be, or your whatever blank you're using needs to be 100% cotton, a cotton blend, or polyester fabric. So for the cotton blend, it needs to be at least 30% cotton. Um, and what's great about this heat transfer paper is you literally design it uh, to find your design on your computer. Whether you design it yourself, um, you can get some really great stuff off of Etsy. I've got a couple of examples of those. Or you can use a software program like PicMonkey or Canva. They have some really, really cute ready-made designs that you literally just click and print. Um, so whatever your design is, you just send it through your at-home inkjet printer and voila, you're ready to iron on. So like I said, I'm gonna show you just how easy it was for me to um, create this design. And then I'm gonna show you how to iron it on to your fabric. So let's go make a design. All right, so I do all of my graphics in PicMonkey, um, but there are others that you can use as well, like Canva or Adobe, just depending on how knowledgeable you are. But in PicMonkey, all you do is start a new design. I'm going to do eight and a half by 11 because that's what my printer is going to print. And it'll open up a blank canvas for you. Now, um, for the honey one, I wanted, you know, obviously to get her picture in. So in order to do that, you just add an image from your computer. And I've got my honey image here. I can upload it. And then with the premium version of um, PicMonkey, you can remove the background. So I'm just going to drop her in. And then click remove background. And boom, background gone. So this is going to make for a really cute, you know, t-shirt because there's not a defined edge okay so then you can do some fun things in here with the effects tools um, I think that for her version I ended up doing posterize maybe and then you can you know bring up the number of colors to make it more or less postery you can increase the level of detail that is in there again you can just play around with some different things. They also have this really cool one called Edge, Skit, Edge Sketch, which kind of makes her look like a, like a line drawing, like a charcoal drawing, which is also really cute. So either way, you just get your um, image in, remove the background, change it up however you want, and then you can start adding in um, some of your graphics. So I did a banner. And they have all of these to choose from. I did this one on the original and just um, moved it to the behind honey and then made it really big like so. And then in order to, you know, well, that's probably too big. There we go. And in order to kind of trick the eye into making it look like the banner is wrapped around her, you then go back to your graphics, go to basic, grab a rectangle, and then mimic the angle of the banner. Make that a little bit taller and wider, like so. 
obviously you guys are going to spend a little bit more time perfecting this, but then you can change the color of it to match this. And now it looks like it's being wrapped around her. And then you would duplicate this, um, command D, or you can right click and duplicate. And now it looks like it's being wrapped around her, even though her little face is, there we go. Get her face back in. All right, so, and then you can change the colors of the banner um, as well. So if we wanted to do something other than this green, um, we can change that accordingly. All right, now you wanna add some text and you can come in here, add text. They have literally so many different fonts to choose from. You just pick something that you really like. Again, mimic the angle, center it. We're going to do honey is, and then again, we'll do duplicate. <clears throat> awesome. And we can change the awesome to something like this. You can do text spacing if you want the letters to be spread apart, so on and so forth. And then they have all these other really cute graphics to choose from. So um, you know, for honey, I did the bees, but if you wanted to do, I don't know, I'm trying to think like cupcakes, just something really random. Like let's say it was honey's birthday and you wanted to like do a bunch of cupcakes around her head. You could do that as well. I mean, they have literally like, I don't know, thousands I'm guessing of different graphics. Um, you can do cupcakes. They have all kinds of sports ones. So if you were wanting to do like I don't know if your kid is like on a new soccer team or whatever. Here's a, you know, basketball, foam finger. I mean, they genuinely have so many to choose from. So, you know, whatever it is that your little picture is of, you can put in a whole bunch of these different graphics around. And it's just as easy as that to get an image with a little banner wrapped around it and then adding your text and then any other little adornments that you want to add. Okay, so that's how easy it is to make a design. Obviously, you can do whatever colors you want. Programs like PicMonkey make it super, super simple. But if you don't have a graphic design bone in your body, that's fine. You don't have to do it yourself. You can, like I said, go to Etsy. There are tons and tons and tons of designs on Etsy. If you want to find one that's perfect for this type of project, the heat transfer project, search sublimation designs sublimation and that'll give you really really beautiful vibrant colors there's some really beautiful watercolor ones um and things that you know for me whenever i go to make a heat transfer iron on i'm looking for lots and lots of colors and variation otherwise i could just make it using my cricut which is just one or two colors so when i'm doing a heat transfer i really want it to be lots and lots of colors otherwise i'm just going to cut it out on my cricut and do a vinyl that way um, so let me show you how to use this hippo product, how to use these heat transfer papers. Super simple, really easy. I'm going to be using mine in conjunction with my heat press. You do not have to have a heat press in order to do it. It just clearly makes it a lot easier. You can use your at home iron. There are instructions for both, whether you have an iron at home or whether you have a heat press instructions uh, for both on the packaging. So here's how to take your design and adhere it to your blank. All right, so I got this watercolor butterfly off of Etsy and went ahead and printed it onto the Hippo paper. You can see you want to put the paper into your printer where it's gonna print on the non-gridded side and then go ahead and cut around your entire image. Once you've got that done, then you want to peel the image away from the like gridded lined paper to go ahead and apply, I don't know, five seconds of heat to the blank. And then you want to place your image where you want it to be permanently. Go ahead and flatten out all of the edges. This is a little bit easier with if the blank is warm from doing that little five second um, press because it kind of starts to allow the transfer 
to kind of stick into place a little, little, little bit. Of course, you can still move it around even after you get everything nice and flat. And then we are going to take a piece of uh, parchment paper that is included with the Hippo heat transfer paper. Um, it's like a kit. On the instructions of the heat transfer paper, it will tell you uh, what heat settings and uh, how long you need to apply the press for. Once it's done, you lift it up and peel the uh, like parchment paper away and your image is applied to your t-shirt. Easy as that. It's pretty much foolproof. I really put this product to the test and made a bunch of different items, including this t-shirt. This to me was like 101. White t-shirt, cut around it, iron it on, no big deal. Then I started to mess around with some different types of blanks. So I made this cutie little hat. These letters are in PicMonkey, already designed, ready to go. You'd literally just print them out and cut around the letter and then use, I have the uh, Cricut Mini heat press, but if you have the Aliso Mini iron, that would also be a great option for this as well because you really do wanna you know, use a small iron so that you can get around this small little area. But it went on beautifully. I'm in the process of adding some embroidery stitching around them just for an additional handmade look. But obviously that's taking some time, but let's try not to get that needle in my eye. Um, but it turns out really, really cute. I'm gonna have like something over here too. It's a little more balanced. How cute, right? And then I went a little bit kitschy, let's call it, and I made sewing shoes. <laughs> Do you guys like them? So these are just canvas sneakers, again, that I got at Walmart. They were $6. Um, and I just got a, like, from Etsy, like a decal pack of vintage sewing items and cut around, printed them out, cut it around each one of them, and then kind of just put them on like stickers. Um, so I have all of those there, and then I put some on the side, and then I put some on the side. So when I'm coming at you or walking away, you'll see my sewing shoes. So that was fun. Obviously this is not something that I'm gonna wear all the time, but would be really cute at the sewing expo. We'll see. Anyways, so that is how easy and fun and versatile something like this heat transfer paper can be. The Hippo product was genuinely so easy to use and just a lot of fun to kind of get creative in a different way. So start sewing your blanks or purchasing some blanks and add some fun, unique designs to your projects with the heat transfer paper. Check the description box. I'm gonna have links to a bunch of stuff down there, including a direct link to this exact paper that I used um, from Amazon so that you know you're getting the exact same one that I used on my projects. But that is gonna do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.